through for the song Goodness of God. Um, the chords are going to be G. I might explain G sus 4 toward the end. We're not going to worry about the G sus yet. And then for C, we're just going to play a C add 9. The C add 9 is just like the G, but the first and second fingers move over. Then the D over F sharp, we can actually play what's called a G over F sharp. Check this out. So that's actually a G over F sharp. It doesn't sound great by itself, but then it transitions nicely to E minor 7. So G and E minor 7 are just a matter of that middle finger on or off. And if you play the 6th string 2nd fret, that's, that can function as D over F sharp. It's really a G, the top part of a G over F sharp, but check it out. It's a lot easier than going. I think those are going to be the only chords in the song we're going to worry about. I'm just trying to do a quick play along. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's see. I'll let the recording do the intro. And then I will join in.
pause there because it goes on for a little while longer. <laughs> so yeah, I kept the strumming really simple and that would work very well, especially for a second guitar part. Once you get comfortable with the chords, you can start adding more strums in, like maybe instead of All my life you have been faithful You can maybe do something like Or even just like I think I forgot to mention the D chord, but you probably know D, so there's G G over F sharp, which we're using instead of D over F sharp. D over F sharp is just that. It's a D with an F sharp. You can use your thumb, which is a little bit awkward, or do D with these three fingers, which is also awkward. So I like this for this song. Yeah. Realize you can slow it down, too. Let me try and show you how to slow down a video on YouTube if you don't know that already. Let's see here, YouTube, let me use one of my own videos, I suppose, just for kicks here. Corey, uh, Corey, play along, mighty to save. There we go. Hi, so it might I'm Brad Cowan, differ and in a this little, video, I'm going to show you how anyone can quickly and easily... It might differ a little if you're dealing with a laptop or a computer desktop or an app on a phone, but basically here, all you do is you go into this little wheel, the settings, you click that, go to playback speed, and here you can select different speeds, like here's half speed, 0.5, if you listen. But even better than that, I've noticed, is if you go to custom, then you can change it by half a percent. faster than full speed. Go Corey, go. <laughs> or you just slow it down. So that'd be a way you could maybe slow it down temporarily if you need this video a little bit slower than that. So, Hey, a couple more things I forgot to mention. Um, this original song is capo 1 actually and this chart says capo 2. I did capo 0 because that's the key. We're going to do it with our worship team. So we're not going to use a capo at all. So the recording might sound a little weird. She sounds a little masculine because I've got it down a half step. So if you're wondering why the recording sound a little weird, that's what's going on there. So hope this video helps. Enjoy it. <laughs> 